Sam Wilson, aka Captain America, is going to take on the Incredible Hulk's foe, the leader. Um, hey, 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 Feige, do you realize that, um, Cap isn't a super soldier? He's gonna get, like, kicked in the rib once and die. What gives? Well, apparently they have an answer for why this was the best choice and why the leader is a good choice for Sam. So, um, let's talk about it and why it's terrifying. So this comes at us directly from the director of Captain America New World Order, Julius Ona, who's been talking up Captain America 4 ever since D23. And he said that when he boarded the project, he realized that Sam Wilson is not the same as Captain America. Steve Rogers, and you have to do something different with him. The MCU as a whole is in a different position now, and there's different things going on. So they looked at the whole lineup of Marvel characters and how to tie things around while also making sure that things could be personal at a different level. And when they started looking at all the story options that they were coming up with and what to do with Sam, they realized that the leader was out there and also there's something truly terrifying about him as a character. And he said that one of the things that pulled him towards the leader was the fact that it's the intellect of the character. He's so smart, and what he can pull off without throwing a punch is truly frightening and makes him a great villain. And that he can put Sam through so much trouble without ever once actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. But if it comes to it, then you're going to see something completely different and terrifying because he's also got the means to fight. And he said that what you're going to see that the leader does to Sam in this he wants it to feel real and emotional and that when they decided to take this Captain America movie in a new direction as opposed to what they were working on early on, that when they had him, Blake Nelson, agree to return as the leader, it sealed the deal on a completely different vision for the future of the brand. So it definitely sounds like Sam is gonna really be tested and in some serious ways, mentally and physically. And again, in my opinion, that's great. Remember, some of the best villains in the MCU so far aren't exactly just big, towering dudes that want to destroy everything. They're guys that take their time and lay out a plan and then execute it well. Zemo being the prime example. So, in my mind, everything they're saying about the leader sounds pretty on point and like they understand why he's such a great character, even for somebody like the Hulk. Because the Hulk, when he fought him, is a mindless beast. So what better way to stop a mindless beast than outsmarting him? 